What were the biggest challenges I faced in my small business this year and how did I overcome them? So I made the decision to move from full screen printing on my line table with water-based ink to direct to film transfers. I don't have the space, nor do I have enough big orders coming in to keep housing screen printing materials and equipment. There's just so much of it. So I'm trying to get rid of my tanks, my uh, flash dryer, and a few other pieces of equipment. I am going to keep my single platen rotary press just in case because I can still do some vinyl screen printing like that for small batch orders and stuff, kind of like pig skins and pigtails does. But I mainly do vinyl, direct to film transfers, a lot of designing and things online. What were the most successful products or designs I introduced in the past year and what made them stand out? There's two categories. First was my sh shirts and second is like my creative category. So that would be cards, books, stickers, anything designed like that videos. So first off my cornfield book, which I utilized Amazon's free ebook download feature. You can set it for free for seven days, every 90 days or every quarter. So it's a highly anticipated book because I had been working on it for two years and my family was waiting for it patiently. And so a lot of my friends and my family were excited about it when it came out. Plus the free ebook download added to that excitement. And then the shirt was the Eclipse tee because I had seen that coming in the spring and I knew I needed to prepare for it for October. And I created a glow in the dark version, which went well on my website. But then I got a payment from Amazon merch. I totally forgot I put it on Amazon merch too. It wasn't the glow in the dark one, but I made a decent amount on that. And so I was excited to see that Amazon merch actually works. So there's another eclipse coming up in April. If you want one, grab the glow in the dark one on my website. I also have koozies or you can find the Amazon merch one as well. What are the most valuable lessons I learned about entrepreneurship in the last year and how will I apply them in the coming year? Word of mouth is amazing. Like you hear it all the time and you hear other people talking about it, but really like anything to do with business have friends and family talk about it. You yourself also need to talk about it. Share it on your personal social media. Anytime you get a chance to bring it up in person. And I've started to catch myself when I leave like a conversation or an activity or wherever I'm at. I'm like, oh, that would have been a great opportunity to pitch myself. And I missed it. I'm starting to catch up on them. Whereas a few years ago, I wouldn't have even like thought about it. And now I'm like, oh, I definitely need to like throw that in there that I do this. And if they need something like to give me a shout out. And the dot card is going to be a game changer with that because I'll have it and you can just tap your phone and yeah, my contact information comes up. Fabulous. So moral of the story, don't be afraid to promote yourself, even if you're introvert, introverted and shy. What are the trends or the changes in small business that I observed in the past year and how do I plan to adapt to them? So AI, <laughs> Um, artificial intelligence has been a game changer using chat GPT and Google Bard have increased my efficiency, my workflow, and taken away some of the dread that I have on manual tasks. So I can create content quicker. I can create descriptions of videos, products, captions for social media. I can also make images and videos with Adobe's Firefly and Photoshop. And if you haven't used any of those, you are, you're wasting your time. We still need people that can do some of those things and you still have to proof them. But I hate captioning social media. I hate thinking of descriptions for YouTube. I, I'm not a good title and blog video title creator. So I just give AI the brief summary or snippet of it. And I tell it to create a description with the long tail keywords and make it salesy or and make it fun like whatever it is and then they give me that description back and then i can tweak it or ask them to do something else anyways it saves so much time because then i'm not using my brain power to think of that i get to use it to do other things that i really enjoy like the designing and the creating and the making and the recording question what new ideas or projects do i want to pursue in the coming year and how do they align with my core values in business. So I have a couple of things. First off, I want to illustrate four children's books. I have six of them done. So if I illustrate four more, that puts me at 10 books. 
my goal before I like I leave the earth would be a hundred books, but we'll see how that goes. Um, right now I'm just thinking I want my books in libraries for kids to have access to. I already have a breakdown of my short form, long form, and social media content that I'm working on for the first quarter. And hopefully I can start rolling into the second quarter. That way by the time summer hits and I'm out of teaching, I can dedicate my full summer to doing the rest of the year. I'd love to have YouTube monetized. I've been working on it for a while now. And if all of my subscribers can help me just watch five minutes, that would get me to the threshold of 4,000 hours. Wait, yeah, 4,000 watch hours, a lot of hours. So if all of you guys would just take five minutes, just put it on autoplay. You don't even have to watch it. I really don't care. Just play it on the background. You can even mute it. I actually had an idea to do like a work with me session and we do like a five minute work with me session on the weekend or something. And I'm just doing whatever and playing music. Cause I like to enjoy people's music sometimes too, not just watch them. So that's something you think would be interesting, whether that's just designing or drawing or crafting just five to 10 minutes. We work together and then you comment below what you got done in that time. I think I might add that to my list. So anyways, monetization, four books, and then to keep up with my quarterly planning to actually get stuff out throughout the year instead of just like parts of the year. What is something that you are proud of in 2023? I would love to know in the comments below. And what are you working towards in 2024? I hope you have an amazing 2024 and I can't wait to hear all about it throughout the year. And I hope you'll follow me along for my journey as well. And I will see you guys next year. Well, I've learned that word of mouth, word of mouth is an amazing, that's all folks. Bye. No, just kidding. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys stay creative. Now go make something.